It looks like a bird. Okay. Hey guys, I'm supposed to uh, upload a video on the uh, the lightsaber that I received, but probably I'm gonna do that in some other time. But uh, in the meantime, actually, I wanted to share this with you, uh, especially now that we have this uh, global pandemic uh, going on. What I found on the web was actually uh, this one. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a bird. Okay, and. Um, and this is actually a 3D printed mask. It's a, a free uh, file that you can actually print. And this was supposed to be printed using their uh, special filament. This was created by Copper 3D. It's a company that specializes on making antibacterial filament. Well, I don't have that. And it's uh, right now it's difficult to order. Probably I'm gonna put a link on their uh, site in the description below. And also, I'm gonna put a, uh, I'm gonna share the the STL file, and I'm gonna show you uh, how to uh, assemble it. We're gonna need, uh, yes, a mask here. Yeah, this is the uh, the inlet. Um, this one actually is for this, where you put the uh, the filters in, and then you just sandwich them inside that, and then you screw it on right there. We're gonna make some discs for. For this one okay let's just cut the sides and as you can see although maybe you can do better than this and um, we're gonna fit it in on its face first uh, this is gonna be hot or you can actually bend it by your hand and then after that uh, you can once everything's in and you can glue it in place then you can uh, test fit it on your face you heat it up with a with a hair dryer again and then you custom fit it on your face especially like for example my face is quite wide so i'm gonna test fit it later on uh, make sure you don't heat up the the circle here because if it's gonna be bent uh, although it's printed uh, thicker but yeah if it bends then you'll have leaks on the side which is not good so we're gonna cut this first there we go because this has like multiple bites in it and they're not stuck together that's why it's actually like melted together using a special uh, device yeah, that's it. and you know, probably later on to show you how i soak them okay so guys i'm actually using this uh, bleach to to, uh, to make my solution here so it's a uh, so one cap and i'm gonna put water one So yeah, we have it there. So we're just gonna soak them. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, like we can absorb water. This is the waterproof side. So we're gonna see if uh, water can go through. Not too much. Okay. Yeah. It's still waterproof. Okay. So yeah. Here you go. It's amazing, what kind of material is this? <laughs> it's waterproof. And it's so thin. This one can save you a lot of money. And it's gonna protect you as well. So <laughs> and that's it. So we have this one. So uh, this is the uh, the cap, the screw. So we just okay, white side would be facing here so you'll be looking at the white side when you put it on so it'll look like this and then you just put this on there but but yeah it's, it's right there put some more to be safe I guess you can uh, line the sides here with a bit of foam any foam that's lying around your house you can use that and I have an EVA foam from uh, I used that during the uh, cosplay and you know, made some costumes and yeah so it screws in place like that I don't know how hard it's gonna be breathing through this okay, so we're gonna bend as per the instructions so we're gonna bend here and here and then bend this one towards your face so we're gonna use uh, jack here okay. so put at low, high heat and then 
IP low speed, so it'll be uh, bending after that. Okay, so I can bend it like that. Okay, so I need to heat it more. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Easily bent. Because it's uh, still soft. Yeah, probably I will uh, use this as a marker. So this one goes out like that. So when it goes in, this one, when you bend it back in, it will go in and like that. And then you just stick it on top of it, like so. So like that. So uh, we're going to work on the other sides here. Okay, so you can see it's starting to, uh, to bend. So we're going to use this face to bend it like that. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So it will look like that. So well, actually you can bend it with your hands. It's not a tissue, it's like clay. Soft and quite pliable. So we're going to need some more to do the feel of the bird. So that means a hair dryer. You can use your mom's hair dryer if you have one. Um, this is my wife's hair dryer. Okay. Uh, didn't ask permission, but yeah, she's using it. Okay. You can actually use your face like that. Yeah, it's kind of warm. Actually, not bad. So, what else actually? Uh, I'm going to shape here. Just keep on uh, bending it slowly. Yeah. To the shape of your face, so it's like you're molding a clay. Um, so you're gonna bend this to the shape of your nose. So I'm wearing ordinary mask, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put some rubber on it. Remember this from the mask. So you can just wow. Okay. Can do this so reuse everything okay there you go so it will look like this uh we're gonna bend it and place it actually it's quite comfortable even without the uh, the, the, the foam that i'm talking about uh, it's not the antibacterial filament what you can do is actually after you're done using it there will be the end of the day you can just dip it in the uh, in the solution and then you wash it with water, soap and water, to get rid of those viruses, maybe sticking here and there. Because, yeah, this is a porous material. Uh, there are crevices there, microscopic crevices that they can actually land on. Okay, guys, actually, I already uh, I repositioned it this way so it could fit uh, on my face like this. So uh, it was actually reversed when I initially um, took a video of it so i changed it to make it more sealed i use this eva foam that i have laying around and i use this um, adhesive it's a uh, rubber cement using um, masking tape so what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick this onto the insides like so or whatever it is that you're gonna put the uh, the foam and fold it Okay, so where is it? Actually, it's open. It's probably gonna put like some nose piece here for, the, for this part. I'm gonna skip this one here because it's kind of bent. So probably that'll protect me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold it up later on when I have the battery. Like that. So it's gonna be like this. Cover the face like that, away from the um, round thing here. So it's gonna be a thin piece. It's kind of round like so. Got it. So we have this pattern here. Uh, just don't mind going to the other side and we're gonna stick it on there and then fold it up so you'll have like a double piece. So once you're done with your design, you just need to take this off. Take okay, foam. Okay. You cut this as simple thing so it would open up like that. And you're just gonna cut your pattern like that. Cutting around the coin. I don't know if this one is good enough. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. And that's it. Cut. Yeah. Actually, you don't need to cut that. Because you just need to uh, bend it into place. So nice. Um I'm gonna use my fingers and then you're gonna put a thin coat of the uh, adhesive right there once you have all the sides here with glue and for this side I'm gonna uh, uh, it was cut off uh, right after the um, 
but right after I put some glue on uh, on this side. So uh, what you need to do is actually just put uh, another glue uh, on, on this side or where you want to put it, like that. And then you uh, go over here and then uh, you stick it in there. You have the other uh, pieces here from the from the mask, which you can just insert right there. Yeah, I'm gonna find a way to make it nicer. Or so I'm just gonna test fit it how it feels. Okay. So yeah, yeah, it just feels uh, good right there. Okay, you don't have this uh, pain behind your ears because uh, I was thinking since it's plastic and it could be heavy. So it might be painful on the uh, back part here. Um, let's not, it's uh, just okay. Yep, it'll be like dark Vader or, or night. Yeah, looks nice. And uh, yeah, shout out to the guys who actually designed this from uh, Copper 3D. And uh, good job guys. And yeah, that's it. So that's all for my video. Stay safe and you stay at home as much as possible. And I'll be using this really cool 3D printed mask. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this useful and uh, have a good day.